What's going on Quantum Nation? Welcome back. My name is Quantum and today we're going to be talking about the worst rated TV on Amazon. So smack a like on this video because we're getting to the point right now. So the shortest answer and the quickest answer out of all the research that I've done looking at specifically 2022 TVs, the worst that I found, the Sony X90K. Now we're going to be talking about why it ended up getting that score and why I personally believe it does deserve that spot so far and we're going to continue on from there. So in, in, in a short way of putting this, okay, you have a lot of bugs and glitches that users are reporting on Amazon, but I myself also found other things being really weird like when calibrating you have color temperatures that are reversed and you have to play around with it making calibration a bitch of a time and I don't mean that in a good way and you're sitting here trying to figure out what's going on and it gets to a point where beyond the glitches and the bugs and the the issues you want to see something redeeming out of this television well guess what it wasn't there because truth be told you can just buy last year's Sony X90 series television and have exactly the same experience. There is blooming like you wouldn't believe. Now I talked about this in some of my other videos and in a recent live stream where essentially this, this whole full array local dimming thing is being played on deceptively I believe because what they do is they'll give you native contrast which is just how your screen handles nighttime viewing. Let's call it that okay for all intents and purposes to make it easy you know, they'll give you weak native contrast and then they'll slap local dimming on top of it and say full array local dimming. Our job is done. But the problem is when you get to small highlights like Christmas tree lights or stop lights in a movie or a fire scene in a movie where there is an explosion and it's nighttime, you're going to really start to see that that bloom, that halo, that glow around that object to a bad degree because what happens is all those zones are way too big and as a result you end up with a big giant blooming halo blotchy mess and in some cases like I had the whole screen just ends up really hazy because it tries to brighten up the entire screen. Now I don't know if algorithmically this is something Sony will be able to fix with patches or care to fix because truth be told unless it's somebody that is a darling in their back pocket I swear it's like they don't care what regular consumers say as far as feedback which then ties into one of the other reasons it's getting really bad ratings customer service. So many people are reporting bad customer services when they run into issues or bugs or glitches where Sony just kind of in a nutshell gives them a hard time. Now I can kind of confirm this from my experience dealing with Sony back in 2017 and it wasn't fun. It, they really do make you go through a lot of hoops and even try to give you like vouchers or whatever to devalue your TV. Your TV would have been worth a certain dollar amount and they'll give you the, the model below where you paid for. That was my experience. Now, I don't know if over the course of a few years they have fixed that, but I definitely have seen them be really crappy with customer service. And then the attitudes of some of these people, straight up disgusting that they have in their call center. I honestly, would Sony get frustrated because it's like they have a chance to really dominate and they don't because now they're just pushing whatever is easy. Cheap recycled plastic goods, slap a premium on it, call it a day as long as you sell old tech and call it something new. Now, Sony is the most notorious, which is why I'm going to be talking about Sony even more now. So don't feel like this, it's like hate hour on Sony because when you look at what they do, for, for example, they'll put, let's say, full array local dimming and they'll call it like, you know, full array local dimming with, you know, contrast pro or you know extreme pro this or motion pro that and triluminous pro this they'll try to make basic crap sound like it's so good but the truth is when you start watching it it gets beaten out by budget quantum dot televisions with full array local dimming for example the tcl s546 destroys the sony x 90k it's not even a comparison at that point because they're not trying as hard to put their best foot forward because they know they've got a lot of you many of you guys watching this video probably love the sony brand and believe in them and at one point they really were lens to living room i'm telling you right now i have invested thousands of dollars into sony over the years and just cameras alone i get it trust me but when it's to a point where now they're not trying from a customer service perspective, they're not trying from a product perspective, it gets to a point where why are we even buying Sony TVs at all? 
And I say that because motion year after year keeps getting worse. No matter what the cherry pick darling YouTubers paid to give you the opinion that it's great will say, it is a bad thing that we're seeing happen where Sony products year after year are just getting worse. It's like a snowballing effect. They don't mean what they used to, and I think that's why they are the worst rated TV on Amazon right now. Because more everyday people are going into it expecting that Sony level that we all remember. And when you have people who've been out of the TV market for years and years, and they've had some old school Sony that was like super badass, and then they go to what we have now with the Sony X90K and X95K even, it gets really disappointing very quickly. So. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you disagree with this video, let me know why down below. And if you agree and maybe I missed something, also let me know about it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.